The audio just doesn't stop making really good IEMs. And this time they have given us Oracle Mark III. Does it live up to The Audio's mammoth standards? Let's find out. This unit was graciously provided by the lovely people at The Audio Store. And all the opinions are mine. Let's start with build quality and design. Oracle Mark III are end-to-end -end The Audio DNA from package to design to sound. The package comes with IEMs, a nice cable, ear tips, cleaning cloth, and a nice case. The IEMs are very well-built resin-made IEMs. These are light and sturdy build. And with a very beautiful faceplate and a metal nozzle, these are very beautiful IEMs. In fact, all The Audio IEMs are. The design is very much The Audio and is present in all of their IEMs. The cable again is sturdy, very well built and nice to handle. The aesthetic of the cable goes really well with the IEM. The bronze marking flow from faceplate to the cable looks really nice and I like it. For comfort, these IEMs are slightly smaller in comparison to its other products like Monarch Mark II and these are comfortable for a long time usage and have a pretty good noise isolation with no ear pressure buildup. Specification per se, these are two dynamic driver, two balance armature and two electrostatic configuration. Where dynamic driver are responsible for bass, BAs are for mids and lower treble and electrostatics for higher frequencies. These are easy to drive IEM so you'll have no issues driving them via dongle decks. However, an affordable dongle deck will not do justice to them. So now let's see how do they sound. Oracle Mark III in sound as well is very true to the house signature of The Audio. With thunderous bass, clean mids and a airy treble. These are amazing IEMs and these IEMs do some things very uniquely. Let's break it down in detail starting with the bass. The bass on Oracle Mark III is thunderous. It has a deep sub bass presence with impactful mid bass which live up to the name Theo Audio suggest impact too. It is very much a subwoofer like feeling in your ear. A very nice take by The Audio. The bass is full of texture and it has a very accurate attack and decay. In fact, it is one of the best decay and release that I have heard. If you listen to Another Brick in the Wall by Pink Floyd, the bass line is so clear, distinct and the rumble fades just at the right moment. Super satisfying. If I talk about mids, mids are clean and balanced. There's no bass bleed here. These are smooth mids and have a nice body to them. It has an inherent warmth, which helps in delivering very nice timbre. And vocal performance again on Oracle Mark III is just fantastic. It brings out a fantastic level of clarity and separation on the table. It peels the layers in the midst just like onion. Seriously, if you have not heard of any endgame level and you are coming to Oracle Mark III from something like Hype 4, you will see a clear upgrade. Only con I can say is bright recording can be troublesome for someone who is upper mid or treble sensitive. I was listening to Polyphia and it bifurcated all the instruments so well and so distinctly plus it happens so effortlessly fantastic mids performance on oracle mark 3 it has a very well done treble as well it is very well extended airy and sparkly it is never sibilant or harsh however it sits a bit on brighter side though in a good way. It helps in balancing out the otherwise bassy signature of this IEM. Which brings us to the part of technicalities where it excels. Oracle Mark III is very clean and detailed IEM. It is highly resolving and full of texture. It carries those micro details in the music effortlessly. Soundstage is on the average size with good sense of width and depth. The imaging is very precise and a fantastic rhythm and timing performance on Oracle Mark III. Overall, I would say it portrayed a very strong technical performance for this price range. Let's see how does it compare to the market. Let's compare this to Megafest, IE600 and Symphonium Meteor. Starting with Megafest, 
Both of these IEMs are fantastic. In bass, I would say Oracle is just amazing and sounds more impactful. However, in mids, Megafest is as natural as it gets, in this price range at least. Treble, I would choose again Megafest. It sounds more accurate to my ears in comparison to both. However, in technical performance, Oracle again takes a lead and becomes a better performer. Overall, I would say if you want something more natural, Megafest is the IM. However, Oracle is something if you want something exciting and fun. Now let's check the performance against IE600. Now IE600 is one IM that is more closer to Oracle. It is a single DD. But both of these IEMs perform almost similar in every way. Awesome bass performance, clear mids and very nice and bright treble with very resolving nature of both of these IEMs. However, IE600 is more resolving in comparison. If you have to choose, get whichever is cheaper. If you like bass, IE600 is the better choice. Lastly, if I compare this with Meteor, Meteor is a warmer brother to Oracle Mark III. You want something more relaxed signature and you want to experience the epitome of all BA set, get Meteor. Oracle is a slightly better IEM in comparison to Meteor in my opinion. So get Megafest if you want something natural. Want something exciting? Get Oracle Mark III or i 600 Want something warmer and relaxed? Symphonium Meteor is the right choice. In conclusion, Oracle Mark III is a fantastic IEM which brings us what it markets. An impactful performance with thunderous bass, clear mids and lively treble. After a long time, an IEM is getting, yes, Oracle Mark III gets 5 stars from my side. And it is highly recommended. Well, this was it for Oracle Mark III. Do share your thoughts in comments, do subscribe and if you have stuck till the end, well consider joining the membership and supporting my work if you like it. And obviously this comes with some special TWS perks like number one, you're eligible and has a first right to get my discounted gears that I review and number two, you are eligible for special giveaways. And a special thanks to all our members who are supporting the channels.